Senegal's Kedougou region celebrates its annual day of Fonio, a green native to West Africa that's packed with nutrients like protein and amino acids. The region on the border with Guinea and Mali has become known as Senegal's Fonio hub. The goal of this day is to raise awareness about the benefits of Fonio and to encourage Senegalese people to adapt it into their diets. Fonio is gluten-free, rich in iron, and grows easily without pesticides or chemical fertilizers. Most importantly, the green is drought-resistant and thrives in poor soils. Fonio isn't impacted by climate variations. We're never scared of drought or floods. We can always count on Fonio. We always have a good harvest. Food insecurity looms large in West Africa, where climate change is blamed for weather extremes that challenge food production. The need for tough local crops like Fonio is at an all-time high. The COVID pandemic and Russia's war on Ukraine exposed the region's dependence on food imports like rice and wheat. Now is the time to start thinking about how to stock up on reserves, for Africa and particularly for Senegal. Because if we don't, in one or two decades, I assure you that famine will destroy all of Africa. Fonio production has been held back by the tiring shilling process, usually done by hand. Dehulling machines donated by the U.S. African Development Foundation have benefited Senegal's Kedougou region. With the machine, we can process 150 kilos per hour, whereas manually, we can't even process 10 kilos per hour. But other regions aren't so lucky. Senegal produced about 5,000 tons of Fonio in 2019, compared to more than half a million tons in neighboring Guinea. Fonio fans in Senegal hope leaders prioritize the green's production for food security and so it can reach its full potential. Anika Hammerschlag for VOA News, Kedougou, Senegal.